UAV architect, Eric Olson has developed and successfully integrated aerial tools that detect hydrocarbon leaks in the oil and gas industries. Eric noticed a need for faster, cheaper methods to detect leaks, and created a new sensor to locate methane emissions and other leakages from the production of oil and natural gas, specifically the use of airborne sensors as methane sensing technology. Gas and oil leaks aren't just a safety concern for the workers at the plants, it also affects the community at large, including people, animals, and the environment. UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle, oftentimes called a drone, is a tool that can move a sensor from location to location quickly. Integrating a sensor to a drone leverages an incredibly fast way to locate leaks. When followed up with approved technology, such as optical gas imaging, leaks can be detected, pinpointed, reported, and repaired faster than before. So, what is this sensor? Well, it's doing the most, for less. It uses an array of detectors to measure and classify various hydrocarbons levels and locations to instantly build a map of where these gases are located. The array measures moving air here infrastructure, collecting data for processing. Using multiple hydrocarbon detectors and clever proprietary AI software, it offers an instant reconnaissance. Pointing drone pilots to areas of concern with an optical gas imaging camera. This technology isn't just theoretical. In the practical application in Utah and Texas, results prove this method to be among the fastest ways to detect and locate leaks. Specifically, this sensor scored high on accuracy, showing hydrocarbon volumes in the low parts per million and where they had become airborne in the oil field. And almost of equal importance to accuracy, this technology is relatively inexpensive to own and operate as compared to other methods of leak detection currently used in the market today. The agility of these drones makes them the perfect solution for an industry filled with hard-to-reach, confined and hazardous locations. Not only is the drone better able to observe and navigate these kinds of territories, it solves a safety concern for workers and gets the job done faster so the workers can focus on fixing or mitigating the issue as soon as possible to avoid undesired outcomes. Drone pilots can create a custom flight path to repeatedly maneuver over suspected problem areas to verify the existence of a leak. Now, let's get into the kind of technology that this sensor offers. There are several kinds of detectors on the array to accomplish a variety of goals, depending on the mission, an array may use an absorption spectroscopy, chemiresistors, or an MOS, a metal oxide semiconductor. Some arrays are tuned for hydrocarbons, while others have been used to locate formaldehyde sources. First responders have used this data logger to instantly evaluate a situation for poisonous gases, explosives, radiation and other items that could cause harm. Each array has multiple channels of data logging, and each channel has one sensor. Most missions use one type of detector per channel, but sometimes identical detectors may sit on different channels, so the data from each can be averaged for a more accurate portrayal, or more specific assessment of the leak. Detector data is instantly compared against each other to prevent false positive alerts. The complete data logger, that keeps track of all of this information, mounts to a commercially available drone and flies a pre-programmed flight pattern. Flight patterns usually orbit around well heads, pipes, compressor stations, or other infrastructure. As the aircraft moves, the data logger records information from each detector, then adds GPS data to build a complete map revealing the intensity of the gas leak and its location. The use of this technology can help deliver efficiency, reliability, and safety at an affordable price. Achieving EPA acceptance for this high-tech, innovative, and modular solution will help us all reach the goal of increasing the ease and speed of detecting methane emissions in the oil and natural gas industry.